Bill, you knew we were doing the Machara All-Star Edition today. Look at the state of you. I even put on a belt. Give us a second. So I'm Sam and this is Bill. And some people know us as Sam and Ella TikTok. And we want everyone to come along for the ride. Our story is not uncommon and that's why I think we're the perfect candidates for the academy. Like most people, I learned to ride at the age of eight in our local riding school, galloping on the moors, and we couldn't afford our own horse. Like many, I stopped riding because I discovered going out and travelling. But I always grabbed the chance to ride, like riding on safaris whenever we went home to South Africa. Five years ago, I had a baby. My sister got a pony for her kids. It got me back riding. I quit my job and started a law degree and was in the privileged position to buy my first horse. So I overhorsed myself three years ago, hoping I would never grow out of ill. And the owners did say that it's like buying a Ferrari as your first car. So introducing Ill, a debatably 16 to 16 year old Irish sport horse, produced to event and evented up to be a novice and was a hunt master for many years till I got him. I do not recommend this approach, but it turned out that Earl liked me and I liked him. He kept me safe and he showed me what the childhood dream is all about with all my firsts. First pleasure ride, hunting trip, show, our first camp, first ever event to BE80 at Aston La Walls. I've never seen Ill happier and this year is going to our first ever double clear. Whilst we're now competent in all three phases, if I get in my head, everything falls apart. So I want to join to help us grow in confidence and technique and inspire others to never give up. Oh, well, looks like a fairy tale. Of course it isn't. I juggle everything as a mother, a bar course student and as a self-employed luxury event decorator specialising in customisation. Earl is a quirky character and he wears his heart on his sleeve. I try to listen and try to overcome these challenges with him. I started on a lunge line because I was so unbalanced and he was so strong. We've overcome refusals, napping and rearing, getting stranded for over four hours because of loading problems, falls that dented both of our confidence and run outs. But if there's one thing we don't do, it's give up. We no longer have loading problems, we've been working on my jump technique and instilling trust and confidence in each other. Is he the grubbiest grey you've ever met? Yes. But one thing I am good at is cleaning a grey. So Horse and Country TV, Machara All Stars, can we come along for the ride?